Hello, children. Welcome to our English class. I'm Zarema, your English teacher. Today, we are going to talk about life experiences, what we have done in our life. But first, we will review how to form sentences in present perfect tense. So, let's start. Put the words in correct order to make sentences in present perfect tense. Okay, let's check. The first sentence is You have written your letter. The second Have they eaten their breakfast? The third They have arrived. The fourth We have washed our hands. The fifth I haven't seen him today. And the last Have you swept the floor? Great job, children! Now let's talk about present perfect for life experiences. We use the present perfect tense to talk about experiences. It is important if we have done it in our life or not. It is not important when we did it. For example, I have been to Paris. In my life, I have been to Paris. And we often use ever with questions and never with negative answers with the present perfect tense to talk about experiences. For example, have you ever eaten Kyrgyz national food? Have you ever eaten Kyrgyz national food? So this is the question. And the answer will be no, I've never eaten Kyrgyz national food. No, I've never eaten Kyrgyz national food. It's negative answer. Let's watch a short video to learn more about present perfect tense for life experiences. Present perfect questions and ever. Have you ever eaten sushi? No, I haven't. We use present perfect questions to ask about life experiences. We often use ever with present perfect yes-no questions about life experiences. Ever means at any time in your life. We form present perfect yes-no questions with have or has and a past participle. We form short answers like this. We form present perfect WH questions in a similar way to yes-no questions, but we start with a question word. 
How many times have you seen this movie? Which countries have you been to? Okay, let's continue. Now it's time to practice. Put the verbs in correct form to make a question with have you ever. Okay, now let's check together. The first sentence is Have you ever tried bungee jumping? Have you ever tried bungee jumping? Have you ever won a large sum of money in lottery? Have you ever planted a tree in your garden? The fourth have you ever flown in a hot air balloon? The fifth. Have you ever lived through the flood? The next. Have you ever run in a marathon? Have you ever run in a marathon? The next. Have you ever seen a flamingo show? Have you ever seen a flamingo show? The next. Have you ever prepared seafood for dinner? Have you ever prepared seafood for dinner? The next. Put the verbs in correct form to make a question with have you ever. Okay, let's check. Have you ever practiced ballet? The next. Have you ever typed a letter? Have you ever chopped firewood? Have you ever chopped firewood? The next. Have you ever trodden on chewing gum? Tread? The third form is trodden. Have you ever trodden on chewing gum? The next. Have you ever relaxed in hammock? The next. Have you ever driven a tractor? The next. Have you ever spoken English on the phone? Have you ever spoken English on the phone in your life? And the next. Have you ever played polo? 
Okay, good job, children. Now it's time to sing a song. Let's watch the video and sing along. Stores, parks, and all the things you want to see. It's fun for you and me. Have you been to the falls? Have you gone there? Have you seen all the sights? I'll tell you where. Have you been to the falls? Have you been there? Canada, the USA, and the border they share. Have you been to the falls? There are stores, parks, and all the things you want to see. It's fun for you and me. I haven't been there yet, but it sounds great, I bet. There is so much to see. Thank you for telling me I haven't been to the falls. I haven't gone yet. When I go, I'll take you. You're the best guide I've met. Great. Now let's continue. Complete the sentences with the verbs from the table. Okay, children, let's check it together. The first sentence. Have you ever driven a sport car? Have you ever driven a sport car? The next. I have never read Harry Potter book. I have never read Harry Potter books. The third. We have bought new house. We have bought new house. The fourth, have you ever fought with bullies? Have you ever fought with bullies? The next, I have made a decision to become a teacher. I have made a decision to become a teacher. The sixth, they have brought this tradition into our culture. They have brought this tradition into our culture. The seventh, I have never paid by credit card. I've never paid by credit card. The next, my parents have taught me a good lesson. My parents have taught me a good lesson. Teach, taught, taught. The next, I have never given my money to poor people. I have never given my money to poor people. And the last, they have flown to Moscow by plane. They have flown to Moscow by plane. Great job, children. Okay, let's do the next task. Make the negative sentence using the phrases. For example, I have never cleaned my room.
Well, have you finished? Now let's check it together. I have never played baseball. The next. I have never cheated in exam. I have never cheated in an exam. The next. I have never written a letter. I have never written a letter. The next. I have never ridden a horse. I have never ridden a horse. And the last is. I have never slept in a tent. I have never slept in a tent. Okay, let's practice present perfect questions and answers about life experiences with the next short video. Hi, Leon. Thank you for joining us in the studio this evening. Tell us about your teaching experience, your travels, all the exciting things you've done. Well, as an English teacher, I've lived in a lot of different countries. Um, I lived in Indonesia and Vietnam for two years. And in this job, I've met amazing amount of people who have traveled in different places in the world. We're a very international group, and it's really fun to talk to all the other teachers about countries they've been to. How about your Saudi experience? What exciting things have you done so far? Uh, I've been to Al Diria, which was really amazing and beautiful. And I've eaten at the Saudi restaurant, uh, Naj Village. And I've tried a lot of different Saudi foods. And kabsa I like very much. I also, I've tried the grape leaves with the rice in them, and I don't remember what that's called, but um, that's really good too. It seems you've done everything, Leanne. Is there anything you haven't done? I've never been to the pyramids in Egypt. I'd really like to do that. Uh, I've never been to... Bahrain. I've never been to Yemen. Uh, what else? I've never camped out in the desert overnight. Thank you, Leanne, for sharing your experience with us. It was a pleasure talking to you. Now, let's practice reading. Read the letter of Clary about your experiences in London. And then we will do true false task. Okay, children, let's read it together and then do the task. Dear Sir, you won't believe it, but I am in London with my class. We have seen so many great things. I don't know where to start. We have taken a boat to along to River Thames. We have been on top of the London Eye and we have had dinner in Chinatown. We have been to Madame Tussauds Museum. Last night, we were on Trafalgar Square and lost three of our friends. Fortunately, they turned up at the hotel an hour later. Anyway, that's about all for now. Claire. Now let's do their true-false task. Are the sentence true or false? Okay, let's check it together. The first sentence. They have a boat tour 
along the river Thames. Is it true or false? Yes, it's true. The second sentence. They have never been on top of the London Eye. Is it true or false? It is false. They have been on top of the London Eye. The third. They haven't eaten Chinese food in London. Is it true or false? It is false. They have had dinner in Chinatown in London. The fourth. They have been to Madame Tussauds Museum. Yes, it is true. And the last. They haven't been on Trafalgar Square because they have lost three of their friends. Is this sentence true or false? It is false. Last night, they were on Trafalgar Square and lost three of their friends. Great job. That's all for today. Hope the lesson was very interesting and useful for you. See you soon. Bye.